welcome back today. I have a fun project craft with you guys as well as a share. I'm using the Santa Boot album from Scrap Diva Designs and let's get right into it. I've already gone ahead, done some cutting, done some, you know, stuff ahead of time. And this is, um, this boot comes with these really cute poinsettia flowers and some bells and some, it looks like some sprigs here, but let's go ahead. Here is my card base as well as the um, the pattern paper that I'm going to use. It's pink with tiny little white stripes on it. So let's go ahead and do that. I want to get this ahead um, out the way because I want to share with you guys fun items or fun ways to use this boot. Now, typically... You know, it's meant for an album. However, I'm going to go ahead and use it a little bit different today. I'm going to add on this right here, this pink pattern paper. There we go. Now, let's get to the fun part. I've gone ahead and cut it already. However, I didn't cut it out in paper. I cut it out on felt isn't this cute? And I added a little bow right here. So you don't have to technically make it a Santa boot. You can make this even um, patterned paper or different kinds of uh, fabric texture kind of thing. I went ahead and did a hand stitch around. You can do machine, machine stitching. But um, let's go ahead and stick this on. I'm going to stick it on with, um, with, let me see. I want it to be nice and sturdy, but I want... Yeah, I'm going to glue it on with hot glue. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I should put in another another little glue stick in here. I didn't realize I was running low. Okay, so let's fill this up with all the glue possible here. So it's nice and stuck. You could also do liquid glue, but I want the instant gratification of it sticking on immediately. So a generous amount and quickly because it does dry fast. Ooh, I don't want it on my hands. Here we go. All right, it's already coming on, you could see. Cute. All right, now I have saw a poinsettia here already made. Isn't this cute? This comes this one is actually from a different uh, flower set from Scrap Diva. And here is the greetings on foam. And this one is actually from last year's Christmas cheer word sentiment. So I'm going to add these on. I'm going to add these sprigs as well. These are also from a different Scrap Diva. I will link everything in the description so you don't have to worry and have to look for it excuse the um the landscapers outside if you could hear that they're just doing their job okay and here we have the poinsettia you can use holly um leaves i just wanted a little bit more greenery and oh this one has already I forgot but it's not that sticky so let's add some hot glue and this is ready you can see that this is all ready to go I can go ahead and add in some little sparklies here I have them so I'm just gonna add this here and there you know me I like some shimmery sparkle if I don't use these little jemmies I'll probably end up using some stickles sequins so let's add those. I don't know what happened with the rest of my audio, but this is a final result with those jemmies added there. Okay, the lighting is changing here and there was a lot going on, but here's the finished product. You can see it is a little bit thicker, but for the most part, it would go great in um, like for a greeting card for somebody and it's really cute. The textures are fun to play with so this is all felt and this is a cat sorry sir and paper these little beads are here this pink is actually foam so it works really well and it's backed up with 
a little piece of red and then the white so isn't that cute I also wanted to share with you guys that I made a Christmas tree ornament yes in felty form so I thought this was really cute and I was able to do little bow so it kind of looks like an Ugg boot I think that's really cute and the back side, I just flipped it over and did did that as well. I also did a hand stitch, you can see here. So it's not perfect, but it is adorable. And I don't know, you could put a sentiment saying like, Ugh, the holidays wouldn't be the same without you. I don't know. But I thought this was cute for the Ugg lover in your life. And I thought that was really cute. Like I said before, it doesn't have to be Santa's boot only. You can do the girl in your life who does makes little boots so I think that was a really cute way of kind of showing you that you could do paper or you could do a felty on this project thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out this pro real quick project and share and thank you don't forget to check out the description and get your discount code Veronica so you can get a discount for your next purchase with Scrap Diva and thank you guys so much for stopping by I really appreciate you and until next time Bye.